That's all I'm saying from my from, no, from, I, from I, the I, point of view. And um, I definitely understand. We we know like after after I seen after I seen what Hollow did after I seen what Hollow did when he posted when he went crazy the one time. Shout out to Hollow to Don. Um, when he went crazy and he he put the he pretty much put the business out. Then I seen Murder Mook put the business out. Then I seen uh, ARP just recap and bring up all the receipts of different situations where battlers pretty much uh, snitched on their league, snitched on them on the URL. It just looks kind of crazy, and I hope that's the I hope it's not the case. I need ARP to do all those blogs to 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 know. Cause I've been here for five years and seen five years worth of messy craziness. Do you think when they did that trailer and put ARP's voice in there? No, that that was just like the motherfucking what was the event? The two point five. Yeah, what? Yeah, if he gets smoked. What what event was that? The two point five event went after the two point yeah. five million. It was talking yeah. about that. Got it. You see, yeah. you see, what I'm saying like they, these are the type of people that it, it's not, it's not, it's not about the culture because if it is, your actions are not showing it. Just because you put on some fucking some battles, like if it wasn't for the battle rappers, it wouldn't be no battles. So they don't really need you to put on battles. So obviously, Captain. because we just have Run Mitty versus A Ward, and they is going down in history as a motherfucking classic, right. Right. not on any right. of the bigger platforms. So I wanna I wanna say this. You feel me? Uh dealing with business like I, I, I deal with like I've dealt with businesses and like I still do deal with businesses. I don't blame I don't blame URL for the approach that they have. Because this is what happens, and this is business. This is business one on one. You take what you do is you dominate. You dominate whatever field you're in, and then you buy up everything, and everything moves to the sound of your drum. That's just how it works. You yeah, you all love the WWE and this shit. And look yeah, at yeah. look at the music and look at the music yeah. industry now. The, but I'm just look saying, at the music the industry now. But I'm not. Uh, we can use it to wrestling. You had all of these no, other. We're, we're gonna take it, keep it to the pure form, hip hop, <laughs> our, yeah, our, our culture. This I'm is not, not something we they, they made. You know, that's Tucker I'm Bresman. Thinking, we're talking about hip hop, talking, right? You're, but you're talking you know about I mean? it from a fan perspective, though. I'm not. Talking no, I'm about talking it. about from a hip hop. When we're talking about our form, that exactly. motherfuckers want to come in and facilitate that they don't have no business doing anything and exactly. and, and and eat off of eat off of these people and take all the money and give them crumbs. Man. I'm no, with you, that's not that's not that's not business. That's that's yeah, just that, you're coming in here is, sucking the life life force business. out of motherfucking battle rap culture, bro. It, that, yeah, and and that's the feel. But I'm not talking about it from the feeling perspective or outside. I'm talking about like the actual business of it is the business line is to dominate everything and control everything and uh uh have get get more production for less money. That's what it's supposed to be in business. That's what business is and. Do I agree with that structure? No, but it's always been that way. So when mm -hmm. they go out and they do what they do and they get these battle rappers on contracts and they can't battle here or they pay them to not go battle on other leagues to give them shine, that is business, unfortunately. It is up to the battle rapper to say, yes, I'm going to sign that contract to be exclusive to you or not. Just like in music, it's up or to negotiate. the to negotiate and say, yo, I'm going to give you this 360 deal. Cause you don't have to do that. These artists don't have to do that. But it's business, unfortunately. Now, as a fan, I fucking hate that shit. It to me is ruining the culture. I don't like that shit. But looking at the other side of it, with my business hat on, that's just the way it is, unfortunately. Does it ruin the culture? It. I mean, or is it? it or is it a? Is it a? Is it a competition to where it's? To where it's. Yeah, what I, is it? Like, like, like an A war. Let's take A war for example. Since, you know I mean, we on that topic. You know I'm saying never, never grace the URL stage. It was really that 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 I thing agree. because of not being not agree, being Kurt. able to negotiate with he with he's rightfully old or dude. You know what I mean? Whatever. However, the the chips may fall in that situation, right? 
But so don't you think that sort of puts a chip on him sh- on his shoulder to be the best at what he does and to go out there and <coughs> kill each and every URL rapper that there is and say, hey, look at me, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm one of them. Like, I'm not going to be forced into this. Like, let's negotiate. Like, oh, I'm going to just keep killing these niggas on other platforms. You know what I mean? But it, that's, it's all, I, I've been saying this for the past three years. You feel me? I've been saying this for the past three years. When you are, it's okay to have a machine behind you, but when you have a machine behind you, just know that it comes with strings, period. Mm -hmm. And if you are confident in yourself and and you're trying to build your fan base, you can go that route, but just make sure you have an end game and make sure you're betting on yourself. You're not betting on a league. You're betting on your own talent to be able to grow a name to the point like a Geechee Gotti or uh, that's, that's just speaking of recent, like a Charlie Clips or like any of these people. So your name gets so big that once that contract over, you can go anywhere you want and your fan base is going to follow. And this is why I rock with A-Ward. A-Ward, anywhere that A-Ward go, he gonna, he's going to sell out or it's going to be a, 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 a huge return, period. Why? Because people want to see him. And what did he do? He bet on himself. And that's what it's about. If you feel like you're that great, bet on yourself. Bet on yourself. And if you do sign with this big conglomerate, make sure when you sign with this big conglomerate and you sign that three-year deal, that four-year deal, make sure you are strictly focused on your craft and make sure you are getting your name up to when you when it when that when that shit is over and, and that and that contract is done, you can go anywhere you want, whenever you want. And if the league says you still gonna have to be so you can say fuck you and go over here and go fucking murder mm. and bring your fans over there. Mm. People don't people That's don't bet fact. on themselves. So look, people don't bet people don't bet on themselves. And that's a lot of battlers. They look at it, they when they see a bigger no, league, bro, they don't look at the bigger league as as an opportunity to, to get their name up and to and for them to be independent after that. We look at the league is this is where I want to be for the rest of my life because I know they're going to hold my hand. Just like how hip hop people, just like these, these niggas in the music industry, they don't look at it like they don't look at it from the independent source. They look at it from, okay, this machine's going to bag me and it's going to hold my hand for the rest of my career. But no, you got to think past that. Think past that because anything can happen with this machine. So if you focus on your craft and become the best that you can do, and B, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do in the industry that you, you that you decide you to go in. Period. But I'm done. I'm ranting. But Capo, I agree. That like I said, I agree with you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, BA was ranting because he was cussing. You know, in the beginning of this goddamn it's <laughs> live. <laughs> He went out his way not to cuss and shit. You know what I mean? He was changing the words, not to cuss words and all that. Now this nigga fucking fuck, fuck this, fuck that bitch. Yeah. Damn, B.A. Relax, homie. Uh, I'm just, uh, I get passionate talking about it because uh, you see so many, it's just sad. You see the same shit over and over. You see the same shit over and over again. And then these same mm-hmm. artists start to get upset, get angry. But I like the way Geechee is doing it now. Geechee, to me, if you are a battle rapper out there, you don't have to watch Geechee's how he battles and all of that shit or whatnot. But watch watch how he's moving in business, though. He uses he, he he's actually using his fame, you feel me, and, and, and his notoriety to do bigger things other places. Charlie Clips, Hitman Holla. They knew that they can always go back to this league or whatnot and, and make some noise and go get a, a, a $40,000, $50,000 bag. They can do that shit whenever they want. But they put in the work, and now they're, now, now they're growing and doing shit in other places where they want to do it. Smack could never walk up to fucking Murder Mook and say, yo, you have to be exclusively here. What? Nigga? All right. Nigga, I'm going to go holler at Adam right now. What's up, ARP? I'm about to holler at organic right now. What's up, organic? It's business. That's when you could tell them it's business. This is why my is it all the other leagues can get along, and it's just these one motherfuckers that just want to be <laughs> a, the I'll black end. sheep and just want to act like they just rule the world and shit like that. And it's just like 
Because this shit is stupid to me. It's fucking cornball shit. It's like you know, we can <laughs> you know, we can all we can all get a bag and we can all run this this culture. But so somebody just wants to my I I. This is my my no Negro, please. Yeah. This shit is yeah. <laughs> but you already know. You already know what it is, man. That's what it is. I've been coming in this game. At first, you know, Smack was a was a janitor. He was he was at high schools and middle schools, sweeping the floor, fixing, doing like little fix it ups and and all of that, mopping the floor, cleaning tables and stuff. You feel me? That's what he was doing. He started there and he got to a certain point, and now he his his goal, right? His old individual goal was to take over all of battle rap, and that's what he's in motion to try to do. So, what am I going to do? Getting back to the business portion is I need to weaken all of these leagues that I see that could be a threat to me, and they'll dry out, and I can either buy them out or put them out of business. And he's done that with a couple of leagues already that weren't names before, because we don't hear nothing about guerrilla warfare. Guerrilla warfare. Which was a huge league, and we don't hear wait, anything wait, about. Wait, it. Nice. wait, 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 wait. URL has nothing to do with guerrilla warfare. What are you talking I'm, about? They had a whole bunch of battle rappers no showing to their event, Capo. They were losing money because they were paying people first first halves, like big money. That's why we don't really hear from them no more because the money not there like that no more. Why? Because guess who raised the stakes on everybody? Hold on, who are we you talking about? Uh, we're talking about guerrilla warfare. Oh. We're talking about these other leagues that were prominent. URL had a hand put in there, not directly, but through battlers, though. Is that why they, they every now and again, drop like they battles on uh, on their platform? I don't, I don't, like I don't on, know. Uh, on the URL platform? Hey man, it's it's the it's or is the, that we go hard. We go hard. Yeah, we go hard. Yeah, we go hard. So we go hard, right? They had the potential to be we go hard at one point was one of the motherfucking leagues where they had the potential to go up and be like RBE KOTD, like they were a big ass brand. But they, what did they choose you. to do? What did they choose to do? Exactly. They weren't with URL before or for URL before. But they decided, to, okay, we're going to contract with the bigger leagues. So, hey, we're going to put y'all down there. Y'all can still do that. Similar to Gates of the Garden. Okay, we're going to, y'all are, y'all are little, y'all are little brother or little sister league now. We don't have to worry about y'all because we're going to run some of y'all shit over here. We're going to drop some of y'all battles on our channel or on our app. Y'all should be good. And we're going to give y'all some battle rappers that we're going to throw at your way to do one round. I'm giving y'all motherfuckers a lot of game that y'all don't even know right now behind the scenes. Let me stop it. I'm not a whistleblower. I'm not a whistleblower. You just, you just blew the whistle, B.A. Stop it. <laughs> blow the whistle. Right. You just blew it. Like, you just, just blew the motherfucker. Like, what are you, what are you talking it. about? But a lot of people don't look at it from the like economically. They don't look at they don't look at battle rap. They just look at it from the fan perspective. And then when she hits the fan, they're like, "What's going on? What happened? Oh!" And then you got battle rappers who do the same shit. I can't believe I can't go over here, man. They don't got my back. You got them. They look they out, they out here looking like Rum Nitty. Rum Nitty shouldn't be looking like that. It's fucking Rum Nitty. Rum Nitty not looking like nothing. He just had a battle of the motherfucker year. Rum Nitty is in his feelings right now, though. He had battle of the year, but he's in his feelings because he knows that he should be way about, more. <laughs> he should be the, real again, no, I mean, uh, why? Okay, so Listen. dear Listen. battlers, dear dear battlers, f f y i. Stay out your moist ass feelings because you know they're just using you in the first place. If your if your talent mattered, you would be getting properly paid, right? If your talent mattered. I know your wealth. But your talent doesn't matter to them. They just want the money. Okay. Damn. okay. If your talent mattered, why is all all your content on that platform under un, locked away in the app 
and damn near not even all all this shit's not even on the app. I gave up too they much. Drop time. what they want to drop when they feel like dropping it, like always. Meanwhile, battle rap still lives on YouTube, so everybody can see everything else, but we can't see this over here because we got to go pay for it, which is cool, but you're not dropping everything. Yeah, so that's a fact, Capo. Um, so I'm, I'm like, y'all, y'all, y'all kill me with this, this being mad shit, and it's like you should already know. You are, should already know the vibes. They're using you to benefit them. They don't really give a fuck about you. So, do you think, my bad, go ahead. Smoke, I just want to say this one thing real quick, because I I just gave y'all a whole bunch of motherfucking game. Y'all can go clip that shit, whatever, because I don't wrote that down. It. I just gave y'all a whole bunch of game, but what I really want to say, though, last thing uh, for me, K, uh, Real KB says, the saddest thing ever is easy as getting all the battles Nitty is asking for. The cow, verb, and goods. That is correct, right? I want to say this. The reason why he is doing that is because Easy has become a household name. And why has Easy become a household name? Because Easy took his little bit of fame at the beginning when he was getting hot and promoted himself everywhere and started growing businesses, started doing connections, being on fucking TV shows. He took the fame that he was supposed to. He took the fame, his fame, you feel me? And his notoriety, and he used it somewhere else, and he's still using it in other places. Rum Nitty did not when he first got that. He did not. He made fire music that people don't even know about. And I hate saying it like this because Rum Nitty is one of the greatest to ever do it to me. But he didn't use it. He ain't doing what Geechee Gotti is doing. He's not doing what Hitman them is doing. He's not. When you get to a certain level in battle rap, as a battle rapper, you have to use that shit somewhere else because that is your leverage. And that's your exit to do whatever the fuck you want to do. He's not doing yeah. that. Can I ask you a question? What's up? I do think he got Westworld didn't, with G Will, if I'm not mistaken. Though. Didn't Easy the Block Captain lose that tournament that they was in? Hey, yeah, get your thoughts on media, man. I appreciate you having me, man. Salute, salute, salute. Ah, <laughs> tell these niggas.